Returning now to politics in Queensland, and while it's not yet clear who'll form government or when, one man has been there before. Rob Borbidge became Premier in 1996 after the Mundingburra by-election saw the Goss government lose power. Next week, Mr Borbidge will begin a review into what went wrong for the LNP in the lead-up to the 2015 poll. He joined me a little earlier. Rob Borbidge, thanks for coming in. Pleasure. Are you surprised to see Lawrence Springborg back in the leadership role? Uh, no, not at all. I think that in, in uncharted waters it's, uh, it's wise to have a, a captain who's uh, got some experience and I think that's very important and uh, I also believe that uh, Lawrence will uh, appeal to the a constituency that the uh, uh, the Catter Party represent as well, so that might well enhance uh, the prospects of a LNP government. How does he appeal to Brisbane voters? Well, uh, I think to be fair, Lawrence has done an outstanding job as Minister for Health. I think most people in Brisbane have seen a dramatic improvement in health services. That's all been achieved on Lawrence Springborg's watch, and I think people not just uh, in rural Queensland but uh, in urban Queensland appreciate that. You're leading the review into the LNP's election campaign. What's the process there and how long will that take? That's to be determined, but uh, obviously it is absolutely essential that it be thorough, that it be wide-ranging and that we have terms of reference that uh, allow us to uh, go where we want to go. What's your initial view of what went wrong? Well, I don't think it's appropriate for me to be commenting uh, too much at this stage. Uh, obviously, uh, whilst the Newman government uh, delivered much, uh, uh, there were problems in terms of the style of that delivery. Uh, there's been some criticism of the campaign, but uh, all these issues will have to be addressed and in addressed internally by us to the party. It's important to uh, let the dust settle, uh, let people's emotions calm down a little bit and have a, have a look at the whole exercise in the, the cool, calm light of day. You've been through an election very similar to this one when in 1996 there was a by-election in Mundingburra and the Goss government was turfed out and you became Premier instead. Fernie Grove is going to go to the courts. How long before we get a decision in Queensland and we know for sure who's going to be in government? Well, in 1995, uh, it took the court some time and the, the process wasn't finalised until uh, February the following year, so it was about a, a six or seven month process. This will be a lot quicker and I think the, the decision by the Electoral Commission to refer Fernie Grove to the Court of Disputed Returns is very significant. This will certainly expedite the process and if we need to uh, have another election in Fernie Grove which would appear likely then that also can be done fairly quickly along the the minimum 26 day period. Are we talking then more a matter of weeks as opposed to several months? I think realistically we're, we're probably looking at uh, uh, six to eight weeks. Lawrence Springborg suggested today that the LNP should remain as caretaker government until after Fernie Grove is decided. Is that reasonable? This is very much uh, uncharted water. Uh, I, I mean, we, we haven't had a situation before uh, where the seat that can determine the government has been subject to question uh, immediately during the election campaign and referred to the Court of Disputed Returns by the Electoral Commission. Uh, I, I certainly believe this to be a first uh, in Queensland, uh, if not Australia. So the question then arises, does the, uh, the Governor call upon the Labor Party to form a minority government, uh, have the Parliament recalled and the numbers tested, or do we wait and see if there can be a re-election in Fernie Grove in a relatively short period of time? Uh, clearly uh, there is a major role here for the Governor in determining what should happen. Uh, I think uh, the, the assurance for the people of Queensland is that uh, our current Governor, Paul de Jersey, the former Chief Justice, is one of the, the brightest legal brains in the country and uh, we can be reasonably confident that whatever he comes up with will be the best course of action. Yes, that experience might come in very handy. Absolutely. Rob Orbidge, appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.